Okay, so let's jump into this video and start talking about our open loop style boost controller we're going to be finding with our MoTeC 100 series software. So we have the ability to control our boost solenoid using a pulse width modulated output from our MoTeC. Now in the open loop, format, we're going to be finding that we simply have the ability to program that duty cycle right into our tables, whether it's going to be boost by gear and RPM, it's going to be based on ground speed, on a timer, there's going to be all kinds of control scenarios that we're going to be able to go through and program. I'm going to be walking you through the most relevant ones in this video so you know how to program and what to expect when using this open loop style format for boost control. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. All right, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at how to work with our open loop style boost control with our MoTeC. Um, it's going to be the most simplistic way to control boost. The next video, we're going to be checking out how to do closed loop style tuning. Um, so let's go ahead and first figure out how to do this open loop style. Um, what we're going to be doing is creating a new page, just like we found with our idle tuning page. We're going to be creating a custom page for just doing our boost control tuning. So I'm going to go up here to my top. I'm going to right click in here, go to new page, and I'm going to select the blank page here. Click OK. I'm going to be calling this boost tuning. We're going to be saving it into our layouts page. We'll click save. Now we have our blank page to begin. Now the first thing we'll do, right click, go to add. We're going to be going to adjust table. This is going to be where we make our adjustments for the parameters um, or for any of the actual tables for our boost control. So we're going to want to have this here. Let's go ahead and uh, just kind of collapse this a little bit. Next we'll go right click, add. We'll go into dial gauge. And we're going to be first selecting RPM or engine RPM. We want to see what that's doing when we're doing our boost tuning. Um, that's going to be an input that we have to always kind of monitor and keep an eye on. We're going to go ahead, right click, copy this, right click, paste it, bring it up here, and let's actually shrink these just a little bit. We need to have some room here. Make sure we're not going to run out of room. I'm going to right click this, go to properties, go into select. I'm going to be setting my next channel here as engine temp. We want to know what the coolant temperature is as we're doing our tuning. Let's say it's engine temp. Right click, copy, right click, paste. Move up here. And we're going to go ahead, right click on this, properties, jump into select. And then we're going to be going to inlet air temp. 